It's only been a few minutes, but you can already see the USB charge is starting to warm up, especially this one in the corner here. That one really seems to be getting warm. Good morning, everyone. I bought the best selling USB chargers on a local shopping website. We have my phone, Cherry Mobile, Samsung, Oppo, Huawei, Vivo, and Bavin. Now, what I want to warn you is I suspect that most of these products are actually fake. Some of these have actually sold tens of thousands of units. It's a little bit worrying because there are photos of these exploding. There are photos of these where the pins fall out, making them an electrical hazard. Very, very scary, but we're gonna test them out. We'll start with this charger, which claims to be from Samsung. They claim that this can output up to two amps and they also say that it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. We'll be using this USB dummy load to see if it can really output the two amps that it claims. Look at this green number here. So that's half an amp. We're now approaching one amp. It's starting to flicker, that's not a good sign. And there you go, it turned off once it passed one amp. So actually, this charger can only output one amp. It does not support two amps. And now we'll check if it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge. If it does, this light will go solid, and it did not. Let's try again. So it does not support Qualcomm Quick Charge. Now we'll try this one, which claims to be from Bavin. This one might actually be genuine. So we're approaching one amp, no problem. Let's keep going. 2 amp, so this is the best one so far, 2.8, 2.9, 3 amps. Let's see if it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge. Yep, there you go, so it does support Quick Charge. Let's move on to this one which claims to be from my phone. And one thing you'll notice is that is not the font from my phone, so another hint towards this being fake. Okay, we just passed one amp and there you go, starting to flicker and it turned off. And if we check for Qualcomm Quick Charge, it does not support Quick Charge. This one that's allegedly from Cherry Mobile looks to be identical, so I think the result will also be identical. So we're approaching one amp and there you go, turned off. Now let's try this one, it claims to be from Oppo, it says it's a two amp charger, it doesn't claim to support fast charge. We reached one amp and it's turning off. So again, this is not a two amp charger. Next, we'll try the one that claims to be from Vivo. This does say it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge. So let's go ahead and raise the current. Wow, <laughs> can't even make it to one amp. Look, oh my goodness. Cannot even handle one amp, what a joke. Let's see if it really supports Qualcomm Quick Charge. And no, it does not. Here's another one that claims to be from Oppo. It says it can output up to three amps and it also claims to support Qualcomm Quick Charge. This thing is very bulky, but there's literally no weight to it. We're at one amp, okay. Interesting, we're at 1.6, 1.8, two amps, surprising. Let's keep going. Okay, so we can't go beyond two amp. Although there's still many that I haven't opened, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the same results because the packaging is just the same. So let's move on to a different test now. I plugged in six USB chargers that claim to be from various brands. Since most of these can only output one amp, these power banks are going to charge pretty slowly, but at least we'll get an idea of how hot these chargers get. It's only been a few minutes, but you can already see the USB chargers starting to warm up, especially this one in the corner here. That one really seems to be getting warm. It's been around 10 minutes and the Bavin charger is incredibly hot now. So I'm actually going to tape a temperature probe directly to this charger. If we hit it with the infrared, we're reading around 60.6 and our sensor that's taped to the charger is reading around 61, 62. So you do generally get more accurate results by taping the sensor directly onto the charger, although the infrared's pretty good as well. The other USB chargers, honestly, they don't feel that hot, except this one in the corner. Let's take a reading on that. So it looks like that one's reaching 58 degrees Celsius. So that's also pretty hot but not quite as high as the 
Bavin or alleged Bavin, which is 75 degrees Celsius. So it's been six hours and surprisingly, all of the chargers are still outputting power. They are too hot to touch. If a child touched this, I think they're going to burn themselves. Uh, the Bavin reaches 85 degrees Celsius, but they are outputting power. The thing is, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm pretty sure that all of these are fake, except the Bavin. I think that is genuine, but it's Bavin. So I guess technically they do work, but they don't do what they promise because most of these say they can do two amps, three amps. In reality, they can only do one amp. And although they haven't exploded or broken yet, I don't think they're going to last very long because imagine if this is reaching 85 degrees Celsius, you can feel the warmth coming off this. You can smell the electronics. It smells like burning. How long will it really last? My guess, not that long. That's why you have to be very careful who you buy from online, especially on the local shopping platforms, because sellers with fake goods, it seems like they don't get removed. Even if there's thousands of bad reviews, it seems like they're allowed to do this. So you might think you're buying Samsung, you might think you're buying Cherry Mobile, My Phone, Oppo, Huawei, but actually most of them are fake. So make sure you go to the official store or the flagship store. That's the best way to make sure you get an original charger. If anyone's interested, I could make another video where I show some chargers that I actually recommend. But for now, just stay away from these kind of chargers. Thanks for watching.